Well, hello there. Thanks for watching Luke Walks. Today I'm in the Bunarak area in Bangkok, Thailand, and I am curious. I want to learn a little bit more about this area. I'm um, in the middle of a series now, which is all about the Bunrak area and the Sampan Tawong area. Uh, so today I'm in Bunrak, and I want to learn a little bit more about the history of this place. Uh, but I can't help but notice really cool street art that's around the place. So I'm going to have a bit of a look at that as well. So this piece here is by Ploypem. And I think it's a beautiful use of uh, the colours of blues and aquas. I love the expression on the face there. Anyway, if you look behind, maybe you just might be able to see behind is uh, Icon Siam, which is one of Bangkok's most famous shopping malls, just to help you get your bearings. And right beside me is Charon Grung Street 32, and it's loaded with some cool street art. Have a look down there. So I'm definitely going to have a closer inspection of that there. I like the look of that. Now there's a massive building here. It's got TCD, TCDC written on it. I'm going to have a bit of a look at that because I'm actually curious about the history. Uh, I've done a video about the colonial period in the Bun Rock area. But today, uh, I want to actually have a bit of a... I want to learn a lot more about what life in Bangkok was like in the, like the pre and post World War II era. And I think this building got something to do with it. Uh, so I'm going to have a closer look and uh, learn more about and I'll share, whatever I learn, I'll share with you. So today's video, I've already just having a bit of a look around this immediate area. It's going to be a little bit about the old and the new, the architect, art and the architecture. Uh, now this is a magnificent building here. Let's have a closer look. This, in, this impressive building here is the General Post Office, also known as the Grand Postal Building. And this building here is a significant historical landmark in the Bunrak area. And it was built in the 1940s. This building that was opened in 1940 was originally the British Legation. And the architecture is a mixture of Art Deco and international style architecture, which reflected the desire of the ruling People's Party to project a modern and powerful image of the state. During the time, the architectural scene was highly influenced by German and Italian architects. And thus the Grand Postal Office was aggrandized with a monumental facade giant blocks and its authentic Garuda sculptures. One little known fact in Thailand is that the postal system has part of its origins tied to the British. Before the establishment of Thai Post, there was very limited mail service, which was mainly reserved for the royal family. But in 1858, due to the high demand from the expatriates in Bangkok and the treaty signed between Great Britain and Siam, Great Britain established the British Consular Post Office to take the mailing services. And the years leading up to the British Consular Post Office ceasing services in 1885, Siam began expanding its postal service infrastructure and eventually joined the Universal Postal Union. As demand for the services grew, the postal service was moved near the Chow Prayer River and Chirong Kung Road into the old British Embassy building in 1940. Today the building actually still functions as the post office and that's around the right hand side it's very modern and flash actually it's really nice. Um, on the left side the building now houses the houses the Thailand Creative and Design Centre which I'm going to explore in greater depth and detail when I do an episode which is focusing on the art art and architecture, art and design in the Ban Rak area. But today, I've learned a little bit about the uh, history of Ban Rak. I'm, cur I'm more curious now, now that I've learned a little bit about this building, uh, I want a bit more curious about what uh, life is like around that 1940s era. And I've just found out, I've just been looking at Google Maps, and nearby is the Bangkokian Museum. And it's a preserved house uh, from that era, that period of time. So I'm going to go and have a look at that. This is the Grand Postal Building. Now, if you can see, 
way up on top, there's actually two Garudas. Now those two Garudas uh, were actually sculpted by the famous Professor Silpa, who has who was famous for making uh, creating the Democracy Monument and also the Victory Monument, and also has a university named Silpa University named after him. So his fingerprints, are particularly around this like this era, are all over this city and all over the architecture. So you can see it's. One of the Garudas here just pointing. So there's there's two Garudas on either side. So this here is Statue of Field Marshal Prince Banna Buddha. Banna Buddha. The Prince of Banna, the Prince Banna Buddha. Field Marshal Prince Banna Rangsi Savang Wangsi. Who was appointed by King Rama V as the first Director General of the Post and Telegraph Department. And he is honoured as the founder of the Thai postal system. It's actually a beautiful building inside. It's beautiful, spacious, grand, grand kind of interior, which uh, which I can't film, so I can't show you. But it's a beautiful building. It's also got some good air conditioning. So if you're wandering around Bangkok on a hot day, this is a spot where you can come and cool down a bit. But she's a mighty building. Um, and the Thai postal system, but now we're and now I'm in the 2020s. The postal system and the delivery systems really that business has certainly skyrocketed rocketed with um, because post pandemic during the pandemic uh, the COVID pandemic with all the deliveries going on and now post uh, post pandemic with all the different online shopping and things like that so yes amazing building amazing legacy okay now I'm going to head to the Bangkokian Museum because I want to see what life was like for just for a family, a well-to-do family, this is what I've read about, a well-to-do family around that 1940s, that King Rama V period. So I think it's this way. So inside that magnificent building is actually a, a real living and live, living, breathing post office. But just behind it is actually the more modern version. Um, so a little bit of old and new mixed in side by side here. 